What's up there everyone? Confidence is a word that is so much searched on Google or on YouTube on how to improve it. It is a topic that so many people struggle with and I wanted to make a video on it. If you see me now and if, you know, people who meet me today, they would all say that I look like a pretty confident person. And today I am, I could say myself that I am a pretty confident person, to be honest. But if you would go back to eight years ago, I was anything but confident, I would say. Saying this for many people who are watching this video who are totally not confident, a lot of times you would immediately feel like, ah, oh, that cannot be true. No one could be as uh, unconfident as I am. You know, that's m what you might be thinking when I just said that. The biggest thing that a lot of people do not understand when you talk about confidence is that it takes an extremely a long time to improve it. When I was 18 up until now, I've been working on that constantly. And now the last few years, I feel pretty confident and pretty good, but I've been working on it for years and years and years. It's really hard to really instill that in people through a video like this, because I want to provide uh, three things. Uh, and one thing mainly, but I want to provide in total three things, two alternatives on how to improve confidence that really helped me. But a lot of times when people just hear these ways on how to be confident, because there's a lot of great videos out there that touch on real ways to improve confidence. A lot of people think that you just have to do it once or or just twice and then you will be confident. But there is a long process behind it and there was a long process behind becoming confident with me as well. It took not just a couple of months, it, it took literally years and years of intense practice. Like you have no idea how much I worked on my confidence and on my self-esteem. Like I would be out listening to podcasts every day for almost six years straight on improving my self-image, on improving my self-esteem and my self-confidence from, you know, podcasts who touched on these topics. So I did an intense and I did many other things uh, which I'm gonna share here in this video, but I did an intense amount of training and that is the thing that a lot of people just don't get or don't understand, that it takes an enormous amount of training. It's a muscle that just like going to the gym, you will not build it up by just doing it once. And in a way, you're always working on it. I'm always working on it. It's not something that once you've kind of reached that level that you are always just gonna be there. Uh, it's a con continuous process on improving. One last thing that I would like to say, and this is really important as well, and I will come to repeat it a few more times in this video, is that confidence is about knowing what you are capable of. Really remember that, and that's why I will repeat it a few more times in this video, because it's truly about that. <coughs> So the first one, and that you got probably from the title, is to climb a mountain. Hear me out before you just walk away. <laughs> what I said in the beginning, in the intro, that confidence is about knowing what you're capable of. Climbing a mountain, you will 100% learn what you're capable of. You will physically know what you can withstand and you will mentally know what you can withstand and it's those combination of those two physically knowing what you can do and mentally knowing what you can do that just gives you this confidence like i have climbed the Zuspitze, the highest mountain of germany on one snicker and three hours of sleep just knowing that i can do that and it's not like i intentionally did that it's just you know I couldn't fall asleep and I wasn't hungry and I just had, yeah, I just ate one snicker. But just knowing that you, you know, afterwards when, you, when I thought about it, it's like, damn, I actually did uh, an intense, you know, climb 
where I just climbed for, I don't know, 12 hours straight on one sneaker and three hours of sleep. And it gives you so much confidence. And that's actually not the craziest <laughs> because I climbed the Matterhorn on one hour of sleep. Just also because I couldn't fall asleep and people were snoring and yeah. Also, when I came back and I thought about it, it was just like, damn, it's crazy that my body can do that. It's crazy that I can do this. And this, knowing this, that you're capable of something like that, it gives confidence. It's, it gives self-confidence because if we come back to the sentence, you know what you're capable of. You know what you can do. And that is so, so powerful. And a lot of people don't know that about themselves. A lot of people who lack self-confidence don't know what they can do. And therefore, I would truly suggest to climb a mountain. Now, I know uh, I'm not just going to leave it with that. I'm also just going to uh, add on how you can actually do this. Because it's something that f for many people probably watching, they've never done that or never even maybe considered doing that. Go with a guide, you know, that's what I would say. Go with a guide, a mountain guide. Uh, the first mountains that I've climbed, I did that. Even sometimes now I do it because I can just learn more from people, from experts. And Explore Share, it's a platform that I've used, used many times to find a mountain guide. Uh, they have amazing mountain guides, guides all across the world. You know, Check out their website. Uh, there's likely where you are a mountain where uh, there is a guide on Explore Share who, who is willing to guide you. But also, you know, I actually uh, on the IPS project, so the educational platform of life that I founded, uh, we have IPS journeys, which are like mindful travel trips. And I actually also have a um, guided mountain trip on there. Uh, it's in Europe. So if you're from Europe, you know, check it out maybe. Um, and it's a bit more to do with not only climbing mountains, but also about more self-development and, and self-improvement. So it's sort of a combination of that. I will put in the description the link to Explore Share and to the IPS project, to the IPS journeys uh, in the description. Y you can check it uh, both out there. And then also really important is book it. You know, book it so it is there. You know, don't just, of course, you have to plan and think a little bit when you could do it. But once you have sort of this idea of like, all right, I want to do that, go on Explore Share or, you know, join me uh, on the IPS project and just book it. So it's there. So it is in your schedule. So even if it's in three or six months from now, it's really important. Otherwise, you're just not going to do it. All right. You're just not gonna do it. All right, so I actually have two more things. Although climbing a mountain, that one, I would really suggest you to do that. So the next thing that I have is to expose yourself to uncomfortable situations that you want to do. Now, really important is that you want to do. So it has to be something that you've always wanted to do, but that you feel uncomfortable with or a bit scared of. Like the first one that I said, climbing a mountain. But let me give a few other suggestions, like doing uh, survival training could be a really good uh, way, you know, something uncomfortable that you've always wanted to do or going paragliding or skydiving. Uh, traveling solo, that's really powerful that a lot of people feel uncomfortable with but that they might want to do. Um, volunteering somewhere. These are just some, you know, suggestions of things that I have actually done. So look at something that you want to do in life, but that you feel uncomfortable about. Maybe doing, you know, singing lessons or, or you know, taking guitar lessons or dancing lessons or, you know, there's so many things that so many people want to do, but that they're held back by. That's the thing that you have to do. And here as well, like I said in the first bit, plan it, you know, book that flight, book that workshop or, or training or volunteering project, book it. Again, even if it's in a year or longer, book it. It's about having it booked in your calendar that eventually will make you do it. And the last thing that I 
will say that is really powerful in training this muscle of self-confidence is to be able to talk, run, or fight your way out of any situation in life. You know this by actually, you know, doing something where you have to practice one of those three things. For years, I have trained in Thai box, so I know that I can fight my way out of basically any situation. With run, I mean mainly, you know, being fit, being, you know, not overweight, that you can move your body. Uh, I know because I am fit, I eat healthy, I'm not overweight, and because I used to run a lot, and because I climb, so I've, I'm agile, I know that I can run my way out of any situation if I have to. And talk, you know, doing YouTube videos like this, uh, where I have to actually get better at talking, and doing podcast episodes on the IPS project, where I also have to be better at talking, or just going to meetups and meeting more people and just, yeah, talking more, putting yourself in places where you have to talk more and sort of practice that skill. I know that if I have to, that I can talk my way out of any situation. Knowing those three things that you can do those three things, it gives this feeling that you know that you're battle ready. And that feeling, knowing that you can handle yourself in any battle, is so powerful, which if we go back to the first thing, that confidence is about knowing what you're capable of. I know that I'm capable of handling myself in any situation. Every year, I would suggest you to pick two to three things that are uncomfortable to you, but that you wanna do. And this can be small things too, right? Pick two to three things that have to do with either run, talk, or fight. If you do that every year, for five years straight, I can guarantee you, if you would actually do that, and here is, if we go back to the first thing that I said, self-improvement is easy, but it's just really hard to do. It's easy on the tips and the things that people might suggest to you, but it's really hard to do because it takes a lot of time and energy. If you're actually able to put in the time, uh, you will see that after five years, your self-confidence will have tripled, it will have, it will have increased to a level that you cannot imagine right now, but you gotta train. That's it for this video. Those are three things that truly have improved my self-confidence to be where I am right now from where I came, which is someone who was totally not confident to being someone who feels very confident. So many people, you know, go into the comments or watch videos and think afterwards like, ah, oh, this doesn't work, but they haven't tried it. They have not worked out. They have not trained. They have just watched the video. If you're just gonna watch this, yeah, of course you're not gonna become more confident because it's a muscle. It's not something that you can just understand. And that is the real difficult thing sometimes with making videos like this. Like, I know what I'm sharing right now will work because it has worked so amazingly to me, but I've put the work in it, I've put training in it. And it's so frustrating to then see comments or people DMing me on Instagram that it doesn't work or, or that they're still struggling, but often they just didn't really work on it. They didn't really train and you have to do that, you have to do that for years. There are actual good reasons why some people who were not uh, confident in the past have become confident because they have sticked to a training schedule and they have actively worked on it. And I truly hope that by just saying this and hopefully really making this clear that you will actually make a plan or get a coach if you have problems making a plan. With that, um, for anything that I mentioned, you know, check the description. Uh, I will also add some additional helpful, you know, things that I think about that can be helpful on the topic of confidence uh, in the description, but then also, you know, explore, share, or the IPS journey that I mentioned from the IPS project uh, that I do. Other than that, you know, if you have any other tips on self-confidence, then please share it in the comment section down below. It's always awesome, you know, in any video to see other people also contributing some beautiful inputs and helping other people. You're so welcome to do it in this video as well, like in any other video. I hope that, yeah, you will actually do something with this video. 
uh, that you will not just consume it, but that you will actually use it. Is there actually a spider on my face? I don't know, okay.